Speaking of, uh, speaking of the grand scheme of things among all this, I think we can, uh, we gotta talk about the elf in the room in the grand scheme of things, and that is Tectone. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna say it. I'm gonna ask the legitimate question here. What the fuck oh. did he do that was so bad? Oh, uh... I really know. It, exactly. Now, I'm gonna ask a different question. What the fuck did Sniper Wolf do that was so bad? Oh. They really doxed, doxed someone, still uh, doxed someone. Mm -hmm. Just for Dox Chris. Doxed someone just for criticism, okay. What the fuck did Yandere Simulator... What did Yandere Dev do wrong? Hmm. Room. Uh... I don't know. I the don't story really is he <laughs> was being very inappropriate, and he has recordings of this, being very inappropriate to minors. Yeah. That's what I was yeah. trying to remember. Tectone. You want to know what I think he did that was so, like, so evil, so unfathomably, unspokenably just despicable? What? He spoke his mind about video games. That is literally all that is. They spoke his mind about video games. He voiced his opinions about Genshin Impact and the fandom decided ultimately he is the spawn of Satan. Um, Next to that, hell. he talked about how he, he, it was, it, this goes like way before Genshin 2. I actually had to find this out because I, I heard, I picked him, I picked up on him back when like, in, back in 2019 or 2020 when I was into Arknights. I found his content through that and I was like, okay, so, uh, and I found out why he quit and ultimately he was, Treated poorly by a lot of people, by a number of people on the official Ark Knights Discord and everything, and he just didn't feel welcome in, in the grand scheme of things. And he, and next to that, there was also a number of times where he said that he's ultimately gotten copped out by the game and everything, and so he just wanted to leave. Then there was like Summoner's War. He got under fire for shit that ultimately didn't happen there, and people labeled him as infamous for that. And then Genshin yeah. Impact, he, w again, went out of his way to criticize the game and everything, and he's made his voices heard and everything, and to the point where now it's just like he is considered to be like the smallest thing, because people take any time, like any time people actually are in support of Tectone, any time people have said anything, people write them off people try to harass and contact contact and harass these different content creators and everything it doesn't matter what it is it's just like if you ever like talk about tectone in regards uh, things you're basically like no better than him and you deserve to be like dragged in across the f you deserve to be dragged across the fucking platform and it's just like the one question i have is literally the dude is living his life He's playing games he enjoys, he's speaking his mind, he's talking with people he legitimately wants to talk to, and on top of that, he's also just, he's also just, like, having a good time and everything on his own platform. Mm -hmm. So, if he's supposed to be the incarnation of Satan or whatever, he's supposed to be the big bad person on the internet and everything, what does that make the number of people that have thought it's best to harass, stalk, and dox, and tell all these different content creators who are doing nothing wrong to kill themselves? What makes that group of people who don't want to be held accountable? Uh... I don't... I don't know. <laughs> it's... Fucking... Like... Honestly, in the grand scheme of things, if it, until the day comes where 
it, until it becomes where I actually legitimately hear there is stuff that he has come under fire for and he actually is like guilty of it and everything. Unt if, if When that day actually comes, then I'll change my opinion on him. But until then, um, I'll, I'll, I'll say this right now. Uh, if anyone wants to send this to Tecton and anything, I'll say this first off, hi Tecton, like your videos. Second off, if you, dude, if you want to like collab or something, if you want to reach out and collab or whatever, like, uh, my email is open and you can feel free to like, haul at me and I'll, uh, we can, we might be able to work something out in terms of schedule. Like, cause I, I'm more than willing to have like a discussion with you, even if it is just like, I don't know, just a discussion about, I don't know internet means or whatever i don't give a fuck <laughs> but yes <laughs> <laughs> just yeah there i will i'll throw that out there there's an open invite if you if he wants to like reach out to me and everything and say hey uh do you want to like just uh come on a podcast or whatever it's just like if he wants to do that my door is open for him you can feel free to do that but yeah uh 